Um, can a pyrolyzing alkaloids be easily removed from comfrey? And what is the method? There is a method to remove pyrolyzing alkaloids. I don't know that it's easy. The one that is used that I know of is more kind of a lab uh, thing. And I don't know if there's like a commercial version of that. I'm, I don't know. It's been a long time since I looked into this, but it was they were using, I think, bentonite clay to be able to do it. And I don't remember the exact process, but it sounded at the time I was really interested in getting into it. And it just became too complex, too complex and kind of a kitchen apothecary setup for me. That may have changed over the years. Another thing to consider is that um, licorice <laughs> has been shown, um, at least in some research based on Chinese medicine, uh, because it's, licorice is used a lot for this purpose in formulas to ameliorate or mediate the toxic um, properties of some of the herbs in the formula. Well, licorice has been shown to actually um, do that and ameliorate the properties of pyrolyzing alkaloids that otherwise will, will harm the liver. There's an interesting research paper out on that. Uh, Lisa Ganora has a great class on pyrolyzed alkaloids. I recommend checking out. I think it may be on demand and you can get it. I know she did it live and she may have a recording that's available too. Lisa Ganora, is, if you look up her name and it's Elderberries is the name of her school. And her book is called, um, I think, Herbal Constituents. It's herbalconstituents.com. Fantastic book. I recommend it highly. Uh, 